Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And please do check the description box below. There's a ton of information there for you. So please do go check that out. Decks I'm using, personal reading information, social media links. Everything you need to know is down below. So please check that out. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining and helping to grow this little channel. It really means a lot to me. And uh, those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. It really, really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Aquarius, second half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. We're almost done summer. If you're in summer, I guess if you're in the other part of the world, you're almost done winter. Okay, Aquarius, second half of August. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what uh, some Aquarians, what kind of energy they may have around them. Um, we may get a sign, planet, or element. And if you find something that comes out here that doesn't resonate, that's totally fine. The rest of the message may be for you if you clicked on the link, then there's probably a message in here for you somewhere probably something you're meant to see. Oh, Venus. I just had this pop out for, what sign did I do last night? Um, Gemini. The general reading had Venus pop out too. So now, Aquarius, you have Venus. And Venus is the planet of love. And this is a general reading, but um, this could just be about self-love, self-value, um, and that kind of energy or having uh, renewed um, faith, hope, optimism in your relationships, uh, like family, friends, um, like renewed um, love and value, like for your friends and family also. I don't know, we'll see how it plays into your reading here. Um, and I do say that this is a general reading, I will read it general, but if you can Fit it into a love situation then you're more than welcome to do that okay so this me uh, deck here i was going to say with this message here i'm tired so <laughs> all right aquarius with this deck here let's get a message for you what is your energy like second half of august second half of august all right let's get one card for aquarius second half of august what kind of energy what do they need to know spirit please for aquarius second half oh that's too many i just want one there we go sisters of the seasons wow and i had just said here cycles of growth natural law divine order so that is so weird because you see venus here is 16 and then the card, uh, the number on this card is 17. So we have 16, 17. Wow. And, you know, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. So whatever is going on for you in your life at this point of time, point in time, whatever cycles you may be going through, or if you're venturing into something new, or you're growing and expanding, um, it's just the natural law of things. It's what's meant to be for you. It's your divine order. Or this could have something to do with your sisters. Because um, I had just said Venus could be about having renewed uh, loving relationships within friends and family and knowing your self-value, your self-worth, your self, you know, loving yourself again, self-love. And now we have sisters of the season. So, you know, could have to do with your sisters. I don't know. Or family. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Gaia's garden. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. So we have, oh my God here, uh, Aquarius. We have 16. We have 17. And now we have 18. Do you see that? Wow. So this is a special message for somebody. Maybe if you have... Um, two sisters and you're like there's three of you or three siblings and you're like one year apart 
or something like that. But I see, I see things going in like a better direction. If there's been friction or if there's been lack of communication or distance, I see like new cycles of growth, like, like the divine and just the natural law of the divine universe bringing you guys back together and now having fruition abundance and reaping what you sow so that's also about putting in the hard work to get what you to sow what you um to put in the hard work sowing and then you will reap what you sow and you will have all this abundance so could be about putting in the hard work into relationships of some kind friends family Okay, so let's see. Let's see, Aquarius, what's going on? I just can't believe we have 16, 17, and now 18. Wow. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Second half of August. We clarify their energy spirit please and I'm thinking that one right there so we have the four of pentacles so I had in this is earth energy and if you look at Gaia's garden is very earth it's about fruition abundance reaping what you sow it's all about the earth and things growing and expanding as in cycles of growth here and now you have the four of pentacles which is earth energy uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn so this is, uh, you know, a time of energy of um, holding on to sp stability, holding on to um, your foundation. And I always take this as an energy as holding on, but also holding on to what is yours and your stability, but also can be holding back from others also. So if there's been a period where there's been like no communication or things haven't been good between friends and family here it's like you always have that connection in your heart and on, on your mind but also the energy of like holding back from one another like you know communication no um connection or connecting or anything like that or socializing so that's the four of pentacles energy so let's see what other energy is around you so we have the five of cups and we have the Nine of Swords. Wow, Aquarius. So we have uh, water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And now we have your energy here with the Nine of Swords. Um, Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, if I can talk tonight. <laughs> so, you know, the Five of Cups energy is being, you know, sad. There's been a loss, um, sorrow, and then stress and anxiety. So I think this holding back, like, like maybe thinking of them and, you know, missing them, you know, this is in the five of cups of energy of missing something, of being sad and lonely, feeling sorrow that's been lost. And then the nine swords energy is just stress, anxiety, worry, uh, nervous energy, fear. So if there's been, you know, this holding back, but holding on and feeling so sad and lonely and lost and just stressful, anxious, like maybe wanting to reach out, but then, you know, maybe fearing, maybe this is the end, we'll never um, communicate again, maybe this is the end of our, you know, relationship or our friendship, whatever it is for you, and you're really feeling that loss in your heart and feeling that sorrow. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is, Aquarius. So we have the five of pen wow aquarius now the hermit wow just, uh, just clarifying everything i have just said so the energy around you is the five of pentacles now we have the four and the five now the five of pentacles speaks of abandonment neglect uh being left out in the cold and, and that kind of energy so yeah feeling like like if you look at this card, just feeling like all alone and neglected and abandoned, like abandoned from your, your family or your friends and just feeling, wow, this loneliness and hurt and sorrow, stress, anxiety, holding onto the connection, yet yeah, holding back from the connections, whether it's friends or family. And now you have the hermit Virgo energy. So, you know, 
this is energy too of being solo, being alone, uh, you know, being by yourself, being withdrawn from people or um, whoever this is for you. But it's also an energy of needing to go in and doing the inner journey work. If you need to heal issues within yourself, if you need to find your way, what is your journey? Uh, getting in tune and in touch with your soul and your spirituality and your faith find you know what is the best path the best way the best light for you because you do have the nine of cups here water energy again so this is happiness and joy and wishes and dreams coming true and wish fulfillment so there can be happiness and joy once again um if you got you're thinking out i wish i could reconnect i wish we could be friends again i wish this family would come back together um, here in the hermit, you know, maybe someone's just a recluse, withdrawn, or afraid to come out of this hermit mode. But this happiness and joy can be had, which fulfillment can be had in this situation. It's here with the Nine of Cups energy. Oh, Aquarius. So let's see. Let's see what your advice is now. So we have the King of Cups. And we have the King of Swords. Wow. So this is your advice. So your advice is we have two kings here and the king of swords is your energy. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And now the king of cups is um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So the king of swords speaks with truth and clarity, um, clear communication, um, no BS, um, stands up for themselves, what they believe in, um, cuts away anything that is not serving the situation and the king of cups energy is a very compassionate loving caring giving kind of energy so i mean if you're feeling like and the the cups is about love and emotions and the swords is about truth and honesty and communication so i think your advice is, here is just to speak with truth and clarity and speak from a loving compassionate place here to get your wish fulfillment in this situation so you may be the one that need to be the one to get into your either queen or king energy and be the one to step up to the plate here and um, speak with truth and clarity and have this communication but also being in a loving compassionate forgiven healing kind of place to bring this situation back together. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome could be. The two of swords. So being indecisive, um, that's your energy, air energy. So I think your advice is what I had just explained here, but also your outcome is the two of swords. So whether or not you would take that advice and go with it, you may just contemplate about it and not still not take any action. Because the Two of Swords is being kind of blind and not really making a decision, you know, being very, very indecisive here. So I think you may continue to be in, indecisive, but you do have the energy here to come out of this and to bring this back together, whatever it is for you. Because you do have wish fulfillment here, happiness, joy. All right. So, I mean, the center of your spread is the Hermit Virgo. So really thinking, contemplating, you know, what do I need to do? How do I go about this? You know, weighing out the pros and cons, um, you know, healing yourself from within. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Let's get more clarification here. So we have the emperor, right? So Aries energy. So this is taking charge, taking control. And you had two kings here. So I definitely feel like you may be the one that has to take the lead, take control of the situation. Um, take charge of the situa situation here if you want to um, have this happiness, joy, abundance, growth, expansion, new cycle of growth in this connection, whatever it is for you. The Eight of Wands. So there's the communication, the fiery, exciting, go-getting type of communication. Could be traveling, maybe to go see this person or... Um, just communicating, even if you send out like an email or a text or 
something first to see, you know, how um, to kind of test the waters to see how that goes. See if they're open to communication or meeting up or can we just talk or whatever here. Page of Wands and there, wow. So there's the Eight of Wands and there's the Page of Wands is about the communication, the messages, the invitations. Hey, can we meet up? Can we get grab a coffee? Can we talk? You know, um, getting things going here. Wow. Justice. Wow. Serving, <laughs> getting and serving justice in these connections, whatever they are for you, friends, family, whatever here. I mean, it could be something in the legal system. Maybe that it affected this. I don't know. This is Libra energy. But, you know, justice is just bringing justice to any situation. Truth, clarity, balancing the situation, uh, transforming the situation here. So getting justice here and transforming. Queen of Swords. And now here's your energy. So now we have the King and Queen of Swords, which is both your energy is like a double whammy <laughs> for you Aquarius so again standing in your power truth clarity clear-cut communication um, standing up for yourself what you believe in cutting away energy is no longer serving any situation eight of swords so here's mental entrapment mental blockage so I think with the uh, hermit energy here, you could kind of do that inner work and overcome that. Um, it could be you, it could be people or person you're dealing with, just stuck in your head, stuck in your mind, having that mental um, entrapment. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is Earth energy, which is what, right in the middle of your spread, Virgo, which is Earth. So this is, again, taking that uh, movement forward, but the Knight of Pentacles is very slow. He's the slowest Knight in the deck. So he's very sure-footed. He's very uh, practical. He's very um, thoughtful. He thinks things out thoroughly before he takes the next step. That's why he's very, very slow. But he's sure. He's steady. He's grounded. So he's stable. Energy. So... I think it may be a very slow process here, like baby steps to reconnect here and uh, have this grow back into this garden of abundance. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the two of pentacles, the earth energy again. So balancing things around, juggling things around in your head maybe just in your life in general, trying to decide, you know, what do I want to do here? I want to reach out. I don't want to reach out. I don't know what will happen. Will, you know, will they want to communicate? Will they want to reconcile? Just juggling all this probably energy around that you probably don't need to juggle. And there's the three of cups. So there's coming together, rejoicing, or celebrating. So there, here is the energy of and I had said, maybe sisters of the season, maybe you have two or three siblings, three of cups. So rejoicing, celebrating, coming together. Ace of swords. So there's the big uh, truthful communication, the new beginning based on honesty and truth, clear communication, cutting away energies, no longer serving connections here. And this is the sword of victory. Let's see what else do we have here the knight of cups so we have the king of cups now we have the knight of cups also takes action so coming forward and taking that action in a very again like i said loving compassionate manner but actually showing it and verbalizing it now in that loving compassionate way so the devil capricorn it might have been some toxic energy here in the past between you or your friends your family whatever here some sort of negative toxic energy maybe that's why that it caused this um separation but here's the fool and that's your energy aquarius so here's resetting at zero leaving all the past negative toxic baggage behind leaving it all behind resetting at zero taking a leap of faith starting over starting fresh new beginning 
and the magician manifesting this. So this is um, Gemini and Virgo, and you had Virgo in the middle here and Hermit. So this is manifesting. This is us using all your tools and resources to manifest this. Your cups for compassion and love, and your swords for honesty and truth, and your wands for passion and go-getting kind of energy, and the pentacles for a slow, stable growth. Yeah, so I do see... Things can get better here, but you may have to be the one to go and take the lead and take it in that direction, Aquarius. Okay, so let's get some extra guidance messages for you, Aquarius, second half of August. What else does Aquarius need to know? Second half of August. Second half of August. Spare, please. For what do we have for Aquarius? All right, I'm going to take this one and this one. Okay, so we have listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. So, you know, listen to your intuition, your gut, your higher knowing about this. If you really, really feel like your gut is telling you you need to do this, then do it. Listen with your heart. What is your heart telling you to do? And then we have following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. Exactly. So I think this will be a very blissful time. I think everybody will be singing with joy. There'll be, you know, the sun here. It's all about, you know, that um, happiness and joy and success and victory kind of happy home and family energy. So I think this can be a very blissful time again in this situation. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have expecting miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. So this can be, yep, yeah, and letting go. Letting go of, I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. So letting go of all past toxic negative energy in your situation here and expect big miracles in a very blissful time and listen to your heart. And mending bridges exactly I heal rifts I am a mender so maybe I definitely feel like here that you may be need you may need to be the one here to help um, mend these bridges exactly between you and if it's family friends whatever here mending the bridge bridges and um, expect miracles Wow. Okay, Aquarius. Um, if this didn't resonate for you, check the description box below for past readings. All the playlists are there. And I do consider them all timeless, even though they have dates attached to them. So if something catches your eye, I'd say watch it. Maybe something there will resonate for you. And good luck to you in your situation here. Um, if you do like the way I read my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please do not miss out on that. And again, good luck to you here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.